Do you want to learn how to install Oxygen OS based on Android Pi on your Xiaomi Poco F1? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Punchy here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Oxygen OS based on Android Pie on your Xiaomi Poco F1. Do note you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Twerp Recovery installed. I have separate videos for both of those and they are linked in the description of this video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 70 to 80 percent and also make sure to back up your data including your pictures, videos, any other important stuff which you have on your phone because you might need to do a format data which will result in a complete factory reset of your device. So again, make sure you have backed up all your data. All credit for this mod or bringing Oxygen OS to the Xiaomi Poco F1, go to XTA member code Elixir. I have linked this thread in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and go through the thread to see what is not working. So your OnePlus camera is not working and your MIUI camera port is not working as of now. So the only option you have is to use the Google Pixel 3 camera APK. I will link a working Google Pixel 3 camera APK for the Oxygen OS port for the Xiaomi Poco F1 in the description of this video. Then your ambient display is not working. So always on display from OnePlus is not working. As for the audio, OnePlus audio tuner is not working. So if you want to use your sound mods, then you will have to use Viper for Android. Next, your silent mode is not working because we do not have the alert sliders. So you will have to use a third party app in case you want to put your Xiaomi Poco F1 into silent mode. The next thing which is not working is your IR face unlock. So you will have to use Google's inbuilt trusted face feature and there is a patch for that. But do note if you install that patch, which we are going to install in this video, your flashlight toggle will stop working. So you'll have to use a third party application to use the flashlight in case you use your phone as a torch then your screen of gestures are not working and there might be other some minor bugs now if we go into the download section you have two ports you have the oxygen os port from oneplus 6 op6 and you have the port from oneplus 60 now the difference between both of them is that for the oneplus 60 port your fingerprint scanner will not work when your screen is off so if you want your fingerprint scanner to work when your screen is off you'll have to use the oneplus 6 oxygen os port why is that? That is because the OnePlus 60 has an in-display fingerprint scanner. Maybe down the line, the developer is able to fix it for the OnePlus 60 ROM port as well. Maybe he's not. And for my PUBG peeps, PUBG is working fine. I personally did not play it, but I did read a few comments in this thread mentioning that PUBG is working absolutely fine. If you want to stay up to date with what is working on the Oxygen OS port and what is not, I suggest you bookmark this thread and follow it on XTA developers. Let's now go ahead and see what all files we need. The first thing which you need is the Oxygen OS port zip file itself. It is around 1.24 GB for the purpose of this video. We'll be using the 60 port. Then you need the IR face unlock patch in case you want to use face unlock on your Xiaomi Poco F1. Then you need the vendor patch. So this vendor.zip file is not actually the vendor firmware, but it is the vendor patch. Then you need disable force encryption and you need the latest vendor for the Xiaomi Poco F1. The first three files, which is the Oxygen OS zip file, the IR face unlock patch zip file, and the vendor patch zip file can be found in the XTA developers thread. Links to disable force encryption and the latest vendor firmware for the Xiaomi Poco F1 are in the description of this thread. To install the Oxygen OS ROM zip, first thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and remove all the security which we have on our phone. So as you can see, I am running MIUI right now. I'll go into settings, lock screen and password. Remove all your fingerprint, face data, pin, passcode, anything which you have set up. Once you've done that, go back, scroll down, go into me account, remove your me account as well. Once you have done that, go back, go into sync. And if you have set up a Google account, remove that as well. Now, if you are on a custom ROM, I again recommend you to remove all the security measures and your Google account as well. We're doing this so that you do not get locked out of your own phone because we're going from MIUI to Oxygen OS in this case. Next thing we need to do is boot our phone into Twerp Recovery. To do that, first thing we need to do is power off our Xiaomi Poco F1. Once you've turned the phone off, press and hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time till you see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. 
once we are into app recovery we will click on install and the first file which we need to install is the vendor firmware for the xiaomi poco f1 we'll go to the download folder where all the files have downloaded and we'll select this guy beryllium the version number 9.1.24-9 vendor firmware.zip select this guy and swipe to confirm flash once vendor firmware has flashed successfully click on the home button go into wipe click on advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system and data and then swipe to wipe once this is done click on the home button go into wipe and then swipe to factory reset once that is done click on the home button go into install and now the first file which we need to install is the oxygen os port zip file itself so this guy over here select it and then swipe to confirm flash once oxygen os rom zip file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on install one more time and now we need to install the vendor patch zip file which is this guy over here vendor.zip select it and then swipe to confirm flash once that file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on install and now if you want to use IR face unlock on your Xiaomi Poco F1 then you need to flash the IR face unlock patch zip file this guy over here then swipe to confirm flash once that file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on install and now the last file which we need to flash is the disable force encryption zip file now I'm flashing this just to be safe so that my device doesn't get encrypted if you want you can choose to skip it but the risk of encryption is always there so I personally use the safer approach and always flash disable force encryption select this guy and swipe to confirm flash once disable force encryption zip file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on wipe click on format data and type in yes again do note I am being safe and wiping my internal storage this will result in my pictures videos everything being lost if you want you can choose to skip this step and if you end up in a boot loop then the final solution would be to boot back into to app recovery and do a format data i'm just being safe doing a format data beforehand so i do not run into any issues click on the check mark button once we've done that all that is left to do is click on reboot system and wait for the oxygen os boot animation and bam there we have it oxygen os boot animation on a xiaomi poco f1 i'll wait for a few minutes give it some time to boot up and then be back to show you that we have successfully installed oxygen os based on android pi on our xiaomi poco f1 so there it is peeps we are successfully running oxygen os based on android pi on our xiaomi poco f1 the first boot up didn't take long maybe like two minutes and that's it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you <laughs>